I don't think people realize what a big deal this was during World War II, uh, the, the art world itself. It was just a, a fantastic thing that uh, the Germany had at that time, and there were a lot of uh, protagonists from the German side that had a great uh, uh, connection with art. People like Hermann Goering, who was an art lover, and Adolf Hitler, who was an artist himself, by the way. He wanted to be able to uh, uh, build a art museum in Linz, Austria. And the works of art that he was mostly concerned about were the old masters, not necessarily anything modern. A lot of the modern art was considered to them to be degenerate and did not adhere to the German culture at the time. I, I feel that that influenced them in a lot of the th decisions that they made during World War II because of the fact of the knowledge that they had of, wor of the works of art in particular areas, particularly in Holland, Belgium, and France. I thought it was quite interesting because it's such a big effect on World War II, the lost and stolen art, because actually I feel that it's still going on, the World War II is still going on because of the fact that we are uh, finding works of art as early as two months ago. There was a, an artwork called The Pea Pickers by Pizarro that resurfaced at a uh, uh, auction in, I believe it was Sotheby's, and uh, they recognized that as a work of art. 2012, uh, when they located uh, a, a catch of World War II so-called degenerate art were located in Munich, and we'll, I'll be discussing that as well. So this is still going on, and uh, so World War II, in, in my uh, estimation, is still go is not ended. I think people will be uh, will be surprised about the uh, the scope of the art that was involved, and and I'm, and uh, of the different protagonists that took part in the uh, works of art, other than the monuments. Man, you'll see that there, there were other peoples that had peripheral types of work that they contributed in trying to recover works of art. And for instance, we'll talk about the salt mines in Austria and the miners themselves and their role in protecting works of art. There's a few people and, and uh, they weren't necessarily featured in the movie. And one of the points that I'm going to be bringing out that there were monument women as well. And uh, they took a prominent role in, uh, in, in recovering and repatriating works of art. Oh, there's uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands, particularly uh, in uh, uh, Russia, that works of art that were confiscated by the Russians and non, uh, unbeknown to a lot of people that purchase works of art, that they were recognizing that these are stolen works of art that should be repatriated to certain people. And uh, this will go on for quite a long time and I'll, I'll also illustrate a number of the different works of art that are still out there 
And uh, if you see them, let us know.